Hey guys, Apple Pie Dev Team, and this is our video tutorial on how to put your iPhone or iPod Touch in DFU mode. Okay, you need your iPhone or iPod Touch, you need your connection cable, and you need iTunes 7.7 .7 or later. Okay, first, what you're going to do is you're going to plug your iPhone or iPod Touch into your computer and wait for it to appear in iTunes. Sync. Okay, before I actually put my iPod Touch in DFU mode, I'm going to tell you how to do it. So you're going to hold down the power button until the slide to power off uh, slider comes down. Um, you're going to slide that and you're going to wait five seconds after it, it has completely turned off. Then you're going to hold down power and home for 10 seconds and once that 10 seconds is done you're going to release the power button and hold home for 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. Slide the power off. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, once it'll, your computer should make um, a device discovery noise, and this box will come up in iTunes. Um, just press OK, and here, if you've already built the custom firmware with Ponage Tool. You're going to hold down shift. Actually, on an Apple, it's option click. So here I'm just going to hold down shift, restore, and then you go through and you find um, the custom firmware. Here's 2.0.2, .2, and you just open it and it'll restore with the custom firmware. Um, I'm not going to do this because my iPod is already jailbroken. So, good luck. Thanks. And please subscribe.